Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School in Jacksonville, and today I'm going to walk you through a 6G TIG root and hot pass 7018 filling cap. This is one of the more common tests that uh, people face out in the industry, and uh, you know I wanted to go over it today with you. So let's let's talk about this process. Let's talk about actually the doing the 6G. So uh, let's go to the, just the beginning. You want to make sure that all of your pipe is clean. Okay, you want to make sure the inside of your pipe has been cleaned out at least about an inch, a half inch to an inch back inside the pipe. Then you want to clean the outside of the bevel and your bevels. When you're running the TIG process, you want everything to be clean. You want all your stuff to be nice and clean and everything sharp and ready to go. So we've went ahead and cleaned everything up. I've tacked it already. I got it in the 6G position. I've went over my tungsten setup, my TIG rig setup, and got my tungsten set up the way I want it. You know, and uh, you can watch one of my other videos that will tell you about talking about how to set up a TIG rig. But uh, I've got everything set up here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get in the six, we're going to get in this position. What I like to do is I like to put my right leg forward, my left leg back. That way it gives me room to clear my hips out of the way, reach down in here, get in the position, and I'll bring my wire in. And I'll just rock it back and forth as we're filling our wire. And as I'm moving up the pipe, I'm going to bring my left leg around over to my right. Move my right leg over, that way I can clearly get up on top and I'll rock it right on over the top and we'll go ahead and get around the top half. Then I'll move down and we'll do the bottom half. So I've walked you through this process. Uh, like I say, when you're taking a test, okay, the QC is going to want to see your tacks. He's going to want to see uh, you tack it up in position. If everything looks good, he'll give you a thumbs up and then you can put your root in. One thing that you need to really watch out for when you're doing this process uh, especially when you're taking a pipe test, is watching out for your pinholes and your fish eyes. Okay, so as you are welding along and you come to a stopping point, whether it be on a tack, whether it be on your route, whether it be on a hot pass, every one of those uh, processes or positions, or whatever passes you want to call them, when you stop, you need to make sure that you walk it out. Okay, what I mean by that is take your tungsten and walk it down into the bevel or the top, entirely up to you. You can walk it down into the bevel, then break your arc. Don't just stop right in the middle and break your arc. Why? It's because you're going to have a pinhole there, a fisheye. And those pinholes will cause you to fail x-rays and cause you to fail bend tests and won't get you that job that you're looking for. So it is critical well, as you're coming to a stop with the TIG process, you remember to get out those pinholes and remember to get out those fish eyes. Okay, so let's do it. Got my wire, gas is on. Everybody ready? Just keep it nice and tight. You can see it in there. Just keep it nice and tight right over the tungsten. Just nice little fusing it in. Take your time. This is not a race. As you get it filled up here, I'm going to move around so I can see the other half over here. Just rocking it back and forth. Nothing fancy. Keep it a nice tight arc length. Just going barely wider than the wire. Okay, went around it, got it all in there nice and tight. You can see it, kept it just small in there, nice, smooth, and consistent. It's very simple. All I was doing is just giving it a little rock up and down, not much. You know, if you're doing this much, this is entirely too much, okay? You don't need to do that much. It's just a little rock, like a little motorcycle. You know what I mean? That type of deal. Easy, nice and smooth. So let's go ahead, let's finish up. Uh, let's do the route on this side. Everybody ready? Okay, got up one side, let's move over here. It's 
Still good? Don't stick it. All right, we got our nice little root in there, okay? And if you take your time, you know, and uh, like I say, if you were to stick it in here, you know, you jabbed the wire. You did see me just slightly bump it just there for a second. Uh, you know, it didn't quite really mess up the tungsten, but if it did kind of mess it up, I would have stopped and just take out your tungsten, flip it around, resharpen it, and use another end. You know, don't, don't hesitate, especially on the root and the hot pass, you know, with a, trying to run with a dull tungsten or a messed up tungsten. I mean, it's, it, it's just pointless. Don't, don't even do it. So make sure that you got a nice clean tungsten, nice sharp tungsten. And uh, with a little time and practice, you can put a nice little slick root in here as well. So what we're going to do now <clears throat> is what would happen is the QC would come around. He would check your root. He would inspect it. He would look in there. Yep. Jacket looks like a nice wedding band. Got your nice root in there. Go ahead and put the filling cap on it. So at this point, once the QC came around and said you're good to go, I'll come back. I'll put a hot pass on it. Then I'll go in to put my fill and then we'll put a cap on it. So uh, let's go ahead and put a hot pass on Okay, excellent. So we're back to putting in our hot pass. So we've completed our route. The inspectors came by and gave us a thumbs up. So now uh, I'm going to change out my, I've already changed out my tungsten, got a nice clean tungsten. And we're going to go ahead and put the hot pass on. When I put my hot pass on, a uh, good rule of thumb is always turn it up 10 more amperages than what you already had. You know, so whatever you ran the route, let's say if I ran it at 115, then I'd like to bump it up to about 125. I always try to bump it up at least 10 whenever I'm running the hot pass. That way I know it's melting into the previous pass and we're getting good fusion in there. So uh, I've turned it up, everything's been cleaned, everything's right. Let's go ahead and put the uh, hot pass in. When I'm running the hot pass, I just want to take it just wider than what the root was. Hold your wire at the top and bring your metal down. Cool little trick, if you're ever running out of wire and you need some more wire, just move the tungsten down, look. You let go of the wire. Re grab the wire, you can grab it go again. Okay, so we just got the root, the hot pass done on that side. Let's come around over here and complete the hot pass on this side. So we just completed our root and hot pass. Went ahead and got it all in there. Looks nice. 
nice and flush, nice and smooth all the way around. Like I say, the inspector may want to see it again, maybe not. Um, but once he comes back, he'll check it all. And if you can get in there and look and see, I got a nice little wedding band. It looks good up in there. Like I say, everything's going very nicely. So what we'll come back do next is we'll actually switch over to the stick process and then we'll come back and start running our filling caps. And as we run our fills, we'll start running stringer beads first, run stringer bead along the bottom, then stringer bead along the top, run however many stringer beads it takes to fill it up flush, and then we'll come back and put our cap on. So if you'll give me just a few minutes, I'll get everything switched over, and then we'll start running our 7018. All right, so before we put our uh, fill in, we got everything switched over, but let's, let's kind of walk through this a little bit. So we're going to start running this. I like to run a 332, maybe a 187018, but either way, whatever rod it is, I'm gonna, I've got a 332. And so when we run our pass here, and if, I, if you can see this, I'm going to run my rod about right here or so, okay? And I'm going to come in and run a stringer pass. And as I run this pass here, I want to try to keep the rod head on with the pipe you know straight in on the pipe the whole time i'm not trying to get an angle like this okay if you're running at an angle coming up your pipe like this this is wrong okay it's not right you should not have that much of a push angle and then vice versa if you're coming up your pipe and you've got this hard of a drag angle this isn't good neither so what you want to do is keep it head on now you can have a slight five to ten degrees either way it doesn't really matter that much but like i said you can't have long you know you can't have these hard of angles this isn't going to work for you and like i say you want to keep it head on keep a nice tight arc length as you're moving around and as you're running your fill pass don't take it over the beveled edge okay don't take it over this beveled edge you want it maybe to come up to it close to it maybe a 16th just below it but don't go over your beveled edge why is this because it's your guide to put your cap on if you cover up your beveled edges when you go to put your cap on you're not going to know where it's at because you've already covered it up and it's going to look like a wandery snake so keep it inside the groove like i say keep a nice head on the whole time keep a nice tight arc length and don't let it go over outside the bevels and um, you'll run a nice smooth couple beads in here so we're going to come back we're going to uh i've went ahead and got a test dummy uh not a test dummy but a uh, uh somebody to come in and weld in in between just to save us some time on me running multiple passes here i mean if you want you come by the school i'll run you as many passes you want but to save a little time here we got a stunt devil that's kind of came in ran a few passes got it filled up flush for us so i can show you what it flush looks like and then we'll go ahead and put our cap on Okay, so like I said before, I brought in a stunt devil, uh, you know, ran us uh, fill pat, ran it fill here and filled it up flush. Uh, and like I say, I, I could have ran the beads in here, but just to save us time and save you from watching me run, you know, another 10, 15 rods, just burning rods, I went ahead and got one that's already filled up flush. I wanted you to see it. You can see where he's kept the rod in there nice and tight, kept a nice smooth bead in there and uh, no undercut and the bevels still got the bevels all in there. So this is what you're looking for uh, as, you, as you go to fill it up. Just make sure that it's all cleaned up and you know, and all the, all the defects are gone. If you got any high spots, go ahead and take your time and grind them down and clean them up just in case if you're allowed to use a grinder. And uh, like I say, once you get it all in there nice and smooth, then you're ready to put a cap on, okay? And so I've went ahead and brought in uh, my test, uh, my stunt devil again, my welding dummy, and he went ahead and brought us this one and showed it to you all filled up nice and flush and capped out. And if you can see here, it's nice and smooth beads. Like I say, it was ran in the 6G position. He's got nice overlapping beads in here. Um, you know, and this is all ran by keeping the nice rod angles and keeping a nice tight arc length. And so like I say, what will happen is the QC will inspect all this, he'll look over it. If he gives you a thumbs up, then what he'll come back and do is we'll actually mark out some strips out of it. We'll take it outside, cut the strips out, and we'll bend them and hopefully everything turns out nice. So uh, this is how you run a 6G TIG root and hot pass 7018 filling cap. And like I say, let's walk back through it just to kind of touch bases on everything. Uh, make sure that your all your metal is clean, okay? That your uh, your inside of your pipe has been clean, the outside of your pipe has been clean. As you run your root pass, make sure that you cut your wires and make sure you get, use good wire every time. If you stick your tungsten, make sure you change it, clean it every after every pass. And like I say, once you run your root pass in there, everything looks good. Always turn it up another 10 for your hot pass. And also make sure you get rid of your fish eyes. Don't leave any fish eyes. Prevention is the key. Don't let them be there. Make sure they're out. And then like I say, you go on to run your stringer beads. 
Uh, you're going to run stringers in there, multi-passes, probably take you, you know, 10, 12 passes to get it filled up, another 10 or 12 passes to get it, put a cap on it, and uh, a little time and practice, you too can run it like that as well. Thank you for watching today. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.